exciting, isn't it? Just think, in under a week, the Great Exhibition will finally be open. Personally, I feel like I've seen the whole thing already. What we're staying up day and night, printing off these catalogues. It's the Queen's husband, you see, Prince Albert. He wanted to prove to the world that Britain was top dog in, well, everything really. So he's collected together hundreds of examples of miracles of the modern age. There are so many of them that they had to build that crystal palace to show them all off in. Take this one, for example. This is Frederick Bakewell's copying telegraph. You write your message out on a sheet of tin foil and it spins round and round on this drum. Clockwork moves the arm across your message and it's scanned using electricity. The signal can then reproduce your handwritten message many miles away on another machine. Some people are calling it a facsimile or a fax machine for short. Now, it's all very well showing that Britain is leading the way in modern communications, but in my opinion, if you really want to demonstrate how powerful you are, there's no better way of doing it than showing that you own the world's largest diamond. That is the Koh i Noor. Brought back from India only last year and presented to the Queen by the son of the Maharaja himself. Okay. So not all of the exhibits are this grand, and some are more than a little strange. For example, this chap, George Jennings, has built, and wait for this, toilets in the retiring rooms at the exhibition. And get this, anyone can pay to go and use them. I know, public toilets. For a penny, you get a clean seat, a towel, a comb, and a shoe shine. Everyone's talking about wanting to come to the Great Exhibition just so they can spend a penny. Speaking of which, I've got to nip out back to the privy before I finish this printing. This may not be the Great Exhibition, but at least there's plenty of paper.